Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, like I care. All right, I'll talk to you later, Jackie. Ew. You mind not getting all gooey and romantic when I'm about to eat my breakfast? I crawled up your butt. <laughs> you and Jackie. <laughs> and then you started making out in there. Hey, no more butt talk at breakfast. <laughs> Look, if you're not gonna break up with Jackie, then you have to tell Kelso, okay? It's like the ethical thing to do. Thank you, Johnny Cub Scout. <laughs> What are you gonna do, take away my friendship merit badge? No, because Cub Scouts are awarded achievement beads. <laughs> hey, Steven, I had fun last night. You had fun doing what? Huh? Hey, Michael, um, I went to the movies, right, Donna? Oh, um, I don't know, I was with Eric all night. But I'm really interested in this movie, why don't you tell us all about it? <laughs> You know, it's that new movie starring that big red whore. Oh, you mean the one where the big red whore is sick of people keeping secrets? No, no, no. The one where the big red whore keeps sticking her big red nose in places where it doesn't belong. Hey, watch what you say about the big red whore. Thank you, Eric. What is this space I can ever do to any of you? Go, guys. You know how he feels about sissy. <laughs> Donna, what is with you? Look, I'm sick of covering for your creepy, unnatural relationship. And I shouldn't have to. I mean, Hyde, you and Kelsey have been friends forever, and you owe it to him to tell him. Yeah, this is way worse than when you stole his headgear and used it to clean out your sink. <laughs> it's tough love, man. You know what? Forget it. You obviously don't care about Kelso or any of the rest of us. Yeah, because when this blows up, guess what? We're all screwed. Steven, do you really think we're a creepy, unnatural couple? Come on. It's a crazy question. I mean, if this relationship wasn't just a little bit creepy and unnatural, I wouldn't be in it. <laughs> Thank you. So. I'm gonna tell Kelso about me and Jackie. Well, well, I'm glad you finally decided to listen to your conscience. It's not my conscience, man, because I don't have a conscience. <laughs> you know that. It's just because, you know, I figured me and Jackie might be together a little while, so. But man, she's the devil. <laughs> what can I do? She's hot. <laughs> no, you only think she's hot because she's made of hellfire. <laughs> All right, what if you were stranded on a desert island with her? Murder-suicide? <laughs> okay. Picture Jackie in a little bikini made out of coconuts. Where's our signal fire? And don't give me any, oh, boo-hoo, my hands are bleeding. Suck it up. <laughs> oh, damn, I got a splinter. You couldn't grab the tweezers as the ship was going down? <laughs> Moron. Well, that was unpleasant. <laughs> okay, try it again. But this time, do what I do. God, she is hot. <laughs> hey guys, what you talking about? Indy 500? <laughs> no! <All right. laughs> hey, can one of you guys give me a ride to the DMV tomorrow? I lost my license in California. Sure, Hyde will take you. What? No, I'll give you two a chance to catch up. He can tell you how he spent his summer break. <laughs> yeah. All right. So what happened to your license, man? Oh, a shark ate it. <laughs> really? How? Fine, I lost it. You happy now? 